want to show you some examples to start with. Okay, so uh, what what this uh, MRTK does? Uh, if you are interested in what we are going to cover, you can go to our website and under this tab, you can have a look at this these three uh, projects, uh, which is uh, something that we covered with students um, during this semester, the previous semester, and uh, we have built several interesting proposals uh, relating to this idea of using um, AR uh, in, in either uh, in the way we interact with our built environment, our cities, or the way we create or interact with uh, with making processes uh, in construction. So, in a way, Hololens is pretty handy for uh, 3D 3D environment navigation. So um, maybe I will show you quickly. Uh, this is a chair design. This is obviously a mobile device where you can position things. This is what you already did yesterday, yeah? Um, but this is uh, what MRTK can provide you. So the, the uh, UI, user interface, buttons and everything is uh, linked to the physical spaces, not to the screen itself. So this, you can also do this with mobile phone. So imagine you have a, a button that is not tied to your, um, your screen in, as 2D, but it's in 3D spaces. Do you see these ones? They are going to be staying in the 3D spaces. Uh, so using that, uh, this student kind of built this kind of interface to help uh, aid her fabrication process. Uh, and in this particular case, she was making uh, a chair with foam. Uh, this is just a quick example. Of course, if you are more interested in, you can scroll down to this, these uh, few projects in these pages. I have shared all of their contents. Yeah, so this is what she made with this method. Yeah, so that's what you can do. Um, I can also show you just the interface part. So that's the MRTK. So it's very, it's different from the ones that is uh, sticking stick to your screen, which is the normal UI uh, uh, provided in Unity. Yeah. But this one, you can actually uh, use it and work with three-dimensional spaces. So that, that is the difference. 